been uh, fraught with fighting for uh, independence. I think that uh, the word in independent in the 70s meant something totally different from the 80s. And uh, people tend to forget that, you know, PWL is actually an independent company, but because we don't make punk records or left field or right wing records, we just make middle of the road uh, hit records, uh, they don't look at it as an independent. I think the 80s for us has been, you know, really, a lot of time has been spent fighting the system. You know, I think we have, I think that, you know, when people do look back, probably in about five or six years' time, look back at the 80s, they'll see how much we changed the rules. Because what we've actually achieved, nobody could have ever done before we did it. We were just very lucky that we hit uh, probably a period when the, the record industry was on a downslide, and we actually leveled it out and pulled it back up a bit. So we've done, I think we've done a lot to actually help independence in the 90s. <laughs> There'll always be people that kids absolutely adore and, and just go out and buy their records because they adore them. And they just, it, they will all, you know, you can say the Beatles were teen idols, which they were. I mean, everybody forgets that uh, if you read a lot of the books that have been written about 61 and 62 now, and the Beatles, the thing that, it, that comes across very strongly is that the average age of the Beatles fans going to the cavern was about 15. So if you relate that to Jason Donovan, it's exactly the same. Nothing really changes in that market. We don't have a formula. <laughs> I wish we did. Um, but we do have certain rules by which uh, we adhere all the time, to which we adhere. Um, I'm very, I'm, I'm the main songwriter in, in the three of us. That's been my love ever since I was a kid. So I'm very, very keen on structure and form. Uh, people can call that a formula if they wish, but um, it's only the same kind of um, as restriction that you place on yourself as a playwright writing a three-act play might do, or a sonnet writer who writes 14 lines in pentameter. You know, it's only that kind of restriction. I make a three-minute pop song with a verse, bridge, and of course, all the elements in the right order so that the listener isn't confused. And here's... A lot of people say our songs are... Um, right or simple, um, but they're, they may, I mean I'm not going to make any comment on that, but at least I know they're understandable. You may hate them, but when you hear them as a piece of music, they're cohesive. Um, because nothing annoys me more is, than to listen to badly conceived and structured songs. Because with a little bit more thought, you can get the point over in a much more succinct way. So our songs are more simplistic than simple. We've studied the approach and we've pared it down to its basic ingredients. Pop music's coming for um, uh, a lot of panning, uh, as it did in the 70s as well, really. I mean, in those days it was popular to knock Abba and uh, Gary Glitter and The Sweet and Mud, and sort of it's now popular to knock us and Madonna and probably Michael Jackson as well. And I think um, it's part of sort of mu rock music's heritage that, that there's a saying that you can't be a prophet in your own land, and I think in, in popular music as well, especially in pop music in the singles market, it's always regarded as, as not being good until it's old. And I think in, in 10 to 20 years' time, people will actually look back and say, you know, it was a, it was a, a, a booming period. And a period where um, I think people became less uh, concerned with the image of the people. At the end of the 70s and the start of the 80s, it was very much concerned with what, you know, what the artist looked like and what hat he wore and things like that. 
and um, I think all that bullshit has been um, eradicated a lot of it. I mean, it made turtle surfing. Don't know. Problem is, everybody was searching for like every time he tried to launch a new artist, it was like, well, what what image can we give him? And basically, most of it's been done before, and it's very difficult. Uh, and we, we particularly never really put much attention into that side of things because we always believed that the record was good. It, it, it was good.